Do you want titles that grab attention and make your videos stand out? Let me show you how. So we're in iMovie and in iMovie to create titles, you just go to the titles on this bar up here, click titles and you'll see there's lots of different options to choose from. The options show you, if you hover over them, they'll show you how they come on screen and go off screen. So the lower third ones and then there's ones in the middle of the screen. So if we were to use this one for example, you just hover on it, click on it and you can drag it down to wherever you want that title to go. So we're going to put it over here. Once you've got the title dragged down, you can then edit it. So you come up here and you can just type in the words you want. So those are the words we want. If you click and highlight, um, you can change the size of the text. You can change the look of the text. You can make it bold. You can change the color. You can even use the dropper. See the dropper down here, if you click on that. Then you can say I want it the same color as the green of this plant. I can click on that and then I can use that as the colour for the text. It's not the right colour, but you can see you can see what you can do there. I'll just show you that again. So then we click on it, see it comes up and then goes off. And you can change the timing of it, as you can move that around by just clicking on it and then moving it. And you can shorten it by pulling it in or, or lengthen it by pulling it out. Okay, so that's simply how to do it on iMovie. You could also put a background behind it. So instead of having the view of me, you could have the background on while the text is on. So that's the simple way to do it in iMovie. But there's a much more powerful way to do this using Keynote, which is a free app you get with your Mac. And when you open Keynote, you get this screen where you can choose where to start. You want to start with um, the right size off screen, so you want it wide, you want it 16 by 9. And then I use one of these basic presentations, uh, normally white or black, starting, let's just start with black, and then you create that presentation. The first thing you want to do is get rid of everything that's on the page, so you just click and select everything on the page like that, and then that's backspace. Then you've got a blank screen, and the second thing that it's good to do, so you want a, a, a transparent background, so if you go over here to uh, where it says current fill and you click on that then you can you go to no fill and, and then there is actually no background there it's transparent it's just it looks black at the moment so then you want to put your text in so you go up here to this ribbon across here and you go to text and it will drop a box in the in the slide and then you just go into that box add some text text slide so you've got some text in there then you want to highlight it and then you can play around the text. So if you go to te the text box here and then you can format the text. So format it to a whatever font you want. I often use impact, which is quite useful. And then you wanna make it much larger than this. So let's go here to the size of the font. Let's make it 120-ish. Then click off the box and pull it over and then it's quite useful. You've got these ways to justify it. Um, you want it up. you might want it in the lower third down here. I often have it up here near my face so that you're not pulling people's eyes away from where they're looking to look at the text because that often uh, jolts the viewer. So you want the text up there somewhere. And then you can do lots of things to this text. Um, you can change lots of characteristics for it. For example, you can change the color. So let's go from white, let's, let's make it a different color. There's lots of different ways to change them. This is one of them, so we'll have it yellow. Um, and then if you use this little settings wheel here, you can add a number of um, important elements to the text to make it really pop. So you probably want an outline, uh, an outline in white, so you can see that it's white there, and it's probably slightly bigger than that, so I've got quite a thick outline there. Then you'll probably want a shadow um, depending on where the light's coming from, you need to decide where your, the angle of the shadow, shadow should come from, but I often have a, the light coming from the top, so kind of around the shadow down near the bottom. And then you want to have a blur effect on the shadow. 
and offset it. And then that pulls it out from the background, but you'll see it's the, the background tends to be quite dark. Um, so you probably don't want a black shadow, you probably want a white one. So let's make that white. And then you can see around here, you've got, if you look at this now, you've got a, um, the text, it looks like it's standing away from the background. It looks like it's got a shadow to it. It's got quite a nice blur to it. So there's your text. You've got it on your background. Now, we can do lots with this. We can animate it, for example. So it, how it appears on and then leaves the screen. And that's the other key thing that, that you can do lots with in Keynote. So we've been in this format section of, of the slide at the moment. And now we're gonna move over to the animate section. So if you just click on animate, um, then you can add an effect. You want it to add automatically. You never want it on click because if you have it on click, when it goes into iMovie, uh, it won't it won't move. So you want it on automate automatically, and then you want to add an effect. I'm going to talk about um, some effects in a later video, but on this video, um, we'll just have it come in in some way and then go out in some way. Um, there are lots of different things you can do. So for example, you have a confetti effect. Let's just preview that. Um, dissolve. Get back. Shimmer. So I've got shimmer. So you've got pretty good effects here to, to come in and, and to go out. Um, and then there's lots of lots more here. A huge number of effects. Okay, so here we are. We've got we're, we've got our text up on the screen. We've got it the size we want. We've got it in the place we want. Now we're going to add an effect. We've been to, gone to animate. We've gone to build in. So we want to build it in first, then we're going to have an action. We might have an action once it's there on the screen and then build out for it to leave the screen. So we're on build in, we're going to add an effect. And the, the effect that I really like is called keyboard, especially when you're using it for text, the keyboard effect. And here it looks like you're typing it on the screen. You can um, change lots of things about it, but the key thing is the direction of the keyboard working. And obviously you, you want it to look like it's typing and then the duration and you just need to think about the duration. When you go into iMovie and you're looking at the clip that you're trying to put the title over, if you click on the clip, clip, you can see how many seconds it is. And it's quite a good idea to just align the typing with how long you think you'd be saying those words for, or how long you think it's appropriate for those words to be on the screen for. So I've got a duration of three seconds. Now we can change that when we get it in, into iMovie, but if you have it roughly right, it can really help. So we've got it appearing on the, on the screen, then we've got action when it's on the screen. Well, actually, I don't want it to let's add an effect. I wouldn't normally add an effect, but let's add a bounce effect. So once it's on the screen, it'll bounce around. And again, you can change the duration of that, the number of bounces um, and so on. And then you want to come up here. So we've, we've gone build in. We've then done an action for once it's there. And then we want build out. We want to add, a, add an effect to how it's going to leave the screen. So um, again, you could have it disappears if it's being typed or you can use any of these other effects um, and it's quite useful to just have a play around with these but I'm going to use sparkle because I like sparkle it'll just disappear in sparkle um, and again you can change the direction of the sparkle whether it goes up and up to down left to right and so on um, and everything else so you just need to then let me just show you what I've done there you then need to go down to the bottom to build order and just check that um, you've got this applying automatically. And so not on click. If it says on click, then you don't want that. You want it after each build. You want the next build to go automatically. Okay, so we've done that. We've got our slide. We've got the build in and build out. So the, the, the key thing to do now is just to play it through and make sure that it's what you want. So click play, see what happens. Bounces, and then it sparkles out. That's the end of the, that slide. So you've got what you want. It's quite useful to then save that as a um, keynote document, because then you can come back to that and use it as the basis for further um, text overlays, further titles when you want them. Um, so you can save it uh, to keynote. I would suggest you do that. But then when you actually want to use it in iMovie, you, you then need to export it. You come down here to export to, and you want to export it as a movie. And then it'll bring up this screen. Check that you've got playback set to self-play. You want all the slides, there's only one slide. You don't need to worry about go to next slide or any of this because 
it will do that automatically because that's how you've set it. You want custom resolution. And you want it set to 1920 by 1080, which is the what you have for YouTube. Um, you've got your frames per second. You want it in Apple ProRes because this is one of the, the ways in which you can get a transparent background. And then you want this clicked, to, ticked, so it says export from transparent background, because that's key. And then save it. Save it as a file wherever you want. And then export. And it'll create that, it only takes a couple of seconds. And we're going to go to My Media. And we're going to insert that. We're going to grab that file and pull it over. So if you go into your recent, you'll see it here. Just click and drag it over. And then we've got our file here. Then you just need to decide where you want to overlay it. I'm going to overlay it right at the start here. I pull it down, pull it where I want it. And then it'll start. It'll do, do what you want. Now, this may not be exactly when you want to do it, you might want to time it with what you're saying. So you might want it to start here. And obviously you probably want that title to end before this starts. So you can do that um, by speeding it up. So if you come up here, I mean, you, you've got this bit cl clicked on, so it's surrounded in yellow. Come up here and you want to go to the, the speed button here. Click on that and then you can change the speed. I tend to go to custom and then I'll just keep changing this percentage till it's where I want it to be. So if I change that to 150, say, center, then it's sped up. So it'll come on more quickly, it'll do its bounces more quickly and then it'll leave more quickly. Um, and you can just play around with that, with that till you've got it at the speed you want it. And that's creating titles using Keynote and then applying it onto iMovie. I hope you enjoyed that video and see you next time.